And we know if the moon is half full, that means only half of its face is being hit with direct sunlight, which means the sun should be shining perfectly at the moon. And the mo- the angle between the Earth, the moon, and the sun at that instant would be ninety degrees. If you wait for that moment and then look up at the moon and measure the angle to where you see the sun in the sky, that angle, if measured very, very carefully, which it has been done. Ends up being exactly eighty nine point eight five three degrees. Once we measure that angle, and since we already know the distance to the moon, which is side A on our triangle, so now we can set up a trigonometric ratio. We're going to use trigonometry, and we're going to say the cosine of this angle. So the cosine of eighty nine point eight five three degrees. Has to be equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, so it has to be equal to A over C, right? If you do that calculation and solve for C, you get 149 billion meters away.、So、it's much further than most people can comprehend, but on a universal scale, it's really not that far. Because remember, despite the fact that the sun is 93 million miles away, it only takes light eight minutes to get from the surface of the sun to planet Earth, because light travels very, very fast.